Welcome to another Friday Classic Hymn, my friends. And today we're going to look at Morning Has Broken. This was on my mind on Easter Sunday because it was a nice fresh morning. We gathered outside to worship. There was dew on the grass. The birds were singing. And we sang songs of the empty grave, of course. But then I thought Morning Has Broken would have actually worked quite nicely. So I revisited the song and just found myself really enjoying it. Of course, I know the Cat Stevens version. That's where I learned it from, was hearing Cat Stevens singing it on CDs that my parents had. It's got that very famous piano intro, which was recorded by Rick Wakeman, one of the great piano players of the last 50, 60 years. And so I learned it with great joy when I learned to play the piano and always have fun singing the song. Do you know the song? Share your memories of it and your impressions of it in the comments below. And let's find out where it came from. These lovely words were written by Eleanor Fargin, who was an English author of children's stories mostly. Although she also wrote a lot of other types of material. She was born in 1881 into a very literary family. And there was always a kind of childlike innocence to her. You can see it in her writing. And of course you can see it in this song. Do you sense the, the innocence in these words? But not a whole lot is known about this particular song or this little poem that she wrote. It is said that she was inspired in a village called Elfriston in East Sussex. She must have been out in the garden or something, surely. And... The words came to her. You know, I was blessed to go to England last year to visit my uncle. He lives in Streatham. And Streatham has got a beautiful common, at the top of which are some lovely gardens. And Shireen and I went and walked around those gardens, beautiful flowers, beautiful big trees. We just took it in and it was quiet and beautiful. And when I was thinking about the song, it made me think of that. It brought me back to that moment. And maybe where she was in East Sussex, there was something similar, possibly. It was published in many hymnals, but it wasn't really until 1970 when Cat Stevens, an internationally known pop star, recorded it for one of his albums. Then suddenly it became one of those songs that everybody knew. Fargin is respected for her work as a writer and for especially the children's books that she wrote. She received the first international Hans Christian Andersen medal, in 1956. And you can search online for some of the things that she wrote. But perhaps most of all, she'll be remembered for the sweet little three verse hymn that she wrote about a God. Let's look at these words. So, verse one morning has broken like the first morning. Blackbird has spoken like the first bird. Have you ever been out into a fresh morning and it just feels like it's the first morning that there ever was? It was so fresh and beautiful. I think that's what she was getting at. It was like the first time she'd experienced morning. The first time she'd ever heard a bird sing. That's how fresh it felt. And I pray sometimes that God would awaken me to things to encounter them as if I was encountering them for the first time. Because otherwise we, we forget how beautiful they are. And I've often wondered to myself, if I had to live in the mountains or by the ocean, would I still be so enamored by these things or would they just become everyday commonplace? Every time I go to a place like that, it feels like I'm seeing them for the first time. You know, I hope I'll always be so sensitive to the beauty of God that it's as if I'm seeing them for the first time. And then the hymn says, praise, praise for the singing, praise for the morning, praise for them springing fresh from the word. And so it's not just a kind of general feeling of gladness that she gets unaimed. It is aimed at God. She is praising God for what she sees, for the beauty of the morning, the beauty of the songs of the birds. And she wants to praise God because she sees these things springing fresh from the word. You see this in the word of God. You see the psalmists and other writers praising God for the beauty of the earth, for the beauty of creation. And so, in a sense, she is joining them, letting her heart spring into praise out of the word, seeing God's word come to life in the God. Verse 2 says, Sweet the rain's new fall, sunlit from heaven. It's a beautiful picture. The rain is sweet when it comes for the first time in a while, isn't it? Sunlit from heaven like the first dew fall on the first grass. Again, she's 
painting this picture of experiencing something as if for the first time, or perhaps for the first time in season. It's always wonderful to experience the first dew or the first rain or the first snow, which is very rare for us in this part of South Africa. But it's always sweet to see these things, and I know that it's because it's God's creation. She says, praise, again, praise God for the sweetness of the wet garden. The other day we went outside early in the morning and our cats love to go out. And so they were waiting and they ran out and they got to the grass and it was like they hit brakes because they realized it was wet or they jumped on and jumped back off immediately. Cats, of course, hate the wet. But Fajin here says, praise for the sweetness of the wet garden. Praise God for doing what he does in nature in such a beautiful way. The wet garden sprung in completeness where God's feet pass. That's a beautiful line. The garden is a place where God's feet pass and where they, where they walk. Shireen has always said that God lives in the Kruger National Park. <laughs> There's a sacredness there that is unlike anything else. But really, any wet garden is a place where God's feet pass. Of course, he passes everywhere. I'm not going to deny that. And yet, in a garden, in a fresh, beautiful garden after the rain, when there's the first dew, there is also that sacred sense of God's presence. I wonder if you need to go out into the garden today and just praise him for a place where his feet pass, a place where the sacredness of God can be found because of the beauty. And I love verse 3 where she says, Mine is the sunlight. Mine is the morning. It's such a, a personal way of saying, I am finding such joy in this. It's almost as if God has done it just for me. Of course, that's not true. He does it for all of us and for his own glory, of course. But do you have such a love for God's beauty and creation that you say to yourself, mine is the sunlight. He is filling me with joy by the sunlight in the morning. Mine is the morning, born of the one light Eden saw play. That's an interesting line that's always slightly confused me. Is she saying every garden has a little bit of Eden in it? They're all born of the same light. Eden saw sunlight just as my garden sees sunlight, and so they're connected in a way. Praise with elation. Praise every morning, she says. I like that. Praise with elation. So praise from the heart, not just saying empty words to God, but praise with joy, with real elation from the heart. And praise every morning. And you know what? Maybe you don't get to the garden in the mornings. Maybe, you know, you're stuck upstairs in your bed, or maybe you're in a concrete jungle. But you know what? Praise every morning nonetheless, because of God's recreation of the new day. God's making a new day is always a reason for us to be praiseful. When the sun comes up and we see the light, we get a sense of God's beauty in creation. What a beautiful little song of praise. I love this song. It always makes my heart glad to sing this, and perhaps we should sing it more often. And so join me as we sing it now, and may God stir you to praise as you spend time in the garden or just enjoying the recreation of the new day from his hand. broken like the first morning blackbird has spoken like the first bird praise for the singing praise for the morning praise for them springing Fresh from the world Sweet the rain's new fall Sun lit from heaven Like the first dew fall On the first grass Praise for the sweetness of the wet garden Sprung in completeness where his
his feet pass mine is the sunlight mine is the morning Born of the one light, Eden so play. Praise with elation, praise every morning. God's recreation of the new day. Morning has broken like the first morning. Blackbird has spoken like the first bird. Praise for the singing, praise for the morning, praise for them springing. Fresh from the world. 